Reliance Commercial Finance presents India SME Forum 2012. Find out the secrets of success in a series of seminars exclusively for smart entrepreneurs. Join India's biggest SME initiative to boost your business and celebrate SME achievers with India SME 100 Award. speaker is that most of the time your time is overshot and you have to say things in a shorter frame of time. I'll try to be as concise as possible. My presentation is not long. I'll focus on two major things. One is cloud computing and how it can impact SMEs and also on tech and solutions and what it offers to the Indian SME market. Before we start and uh, define cloud computing, Let's look at a classic definition of cloud computing. And then with an analogy, I'll try to relate it uh, with uh, cloud computing. So if you look at the definition, <laughs> three words that clearly are striking out are, it has to be scalable, provided as a service, and using internet technologies. Now, cloud computing in its own would mean you know, I'm providing you computing resources as a utility. Let's take an analogy. <coughs> Go back to a century and a half back when there were no electrical transmission companies. Each manufacturing unit needed to have its own power plant. What they were doing? A company which is focusing on creating wheels needs to have a power plant to ensure it is making wheels. It has to have people, have power generated for it, and ensure that people are maintaining it also. Each power plant running at maximum 30%, 40% utilization. And company, apart from its core business, is actually spending a lot of effort, a lot of capex in its non-core business, which is a power generation. What do we have today? The scenario has changed. You have companies which are generating power, they are transmission companies, and as a consumer, I decide what is the power load I need for my industry? Whether it's a house, it's a SME industry, or it's a big enterprise. And I pay as per my need. I need not have power plants, I need not have staff for that, and I need not focus on activity which is not my goal. How this has been able and been focused? Simply, the electric generating companies and the transmission companies have achieved economies of scale which they are giving you. Number one, scalable model. Number two, provided as a service. Here, the transmission is happening through electric lines. Here, in case of cloud computing and IT, it happens through internet. Now I'll give you a brief overview of Take 10 Solutions. Take 10 Solutions is a subsidiary of Take Solutions, headquartered in Chennai. It's a BSC listed company, and its promoters are Sriram Group. We were primarily focusing on life sciences and supply chain domain technology. Now, with the advent of cloud computing technology, we have come up with a business suit exclusively for Indian SMB market. Our product-based solution scope. In this entire presentation, we have talked about brand, <coughs> marketing, enabling and reaching your customers. But if you look at the solution is focused on that only. We have a CRM solution which is enabling you to reach your sales people, to reach your customers, marketing engine, manage your customer experience through your support. If you want your small company but want to sell products across India, online, we have an e-commerce platform. Then, companies nowadays SME face a challenges. Biggest challenge is knowledge management. You get an employee, you train him for two years, he goes and becomes your marketing or sales help and he leaves. What do you do? You get a new one, build up again, you have no repository to refer to. We have a document management system which enables you to version control, workflow and ensure knowledge is within your organization. Now, uh, I'll talk about advantages of Tate 10. The advantages that I've listed right now are generic that any cloud computing company will give you. These are ensuring you're focusing on your core expertise. There are no IT capex. 
when you are using software as a service, you have to just have laptops, tablets, and internet connection. All your IT needs, server, auto upgrades to antivirus, the latest processes being inbuilt, auto upgrade of software are taken care by the provider. That is us. And what you pay, starting from 200 rupees per user per month to 800 rupees per user per month, depending upon module and the configuration that you choose. I'll not go into all these details, uh, uh, but I'll tell you a few unique points about Take 10, how it has come about. Take 10 actually came about uh, through our, one of our earlier products, which was called One SCM. This was a product for enterprise customers to interact with their SME suppliers, more focused on the US market. And we were also looking at onboarding suppliers, and with few Indian customers also. That's where we, through our interaction with SMEs, we found out what are their needs, what kind of modules they will need. And then we came up with a product which is actually focused on Indian SMB. It has all the basics that you require and it has cut out the fancy stuff. It has simpler to implement, faster time to market, faster time to implement. All our customers, after our demo, have been able to roll out the system within their organization in an average time of 30 days. Then there is no data mining from us. We are not into data mining, we do a NDA, there are no advertising based revenue. And we have no vendor lock -ins. One of the primary concerns of customers or SME market is who is going to see my data? Can I take my data back? You are most welcome to take your data back anytime you want to leave us. You have downloads available in each of the modules, in each of the uh, pages that we have. Have it downloaded, have it at your own end. Now, I'll focus on three, four case studies of the customers. So one of the customers is CMO Access. It's a Chennai headquartered company, marketing process outsourcing organization. 100 plus executives, which include sales, HR, and management executives spread across India. They needed a system which will enable them to manage employees for timesheets, appraisals, recruitment. They needed a system which will enable them to manage their sales force and see it have a real-time information of how sales is doing each year. And they are launching a new initiative called CMO1.com, which is providing marketing collaterals as a service through internet, through an e-commerce portal. Till now, e-commerce has normally the use of selling products. I have a expensive jewelry, I sell through e-commerce. I am a manufacturer of health equipment, I sell it through e-commerce. But for the first time, they have come up with a module where they are going to sell e-commerce of marketing collaterals, flyers, etc. based on customer demands. So, Take 10 provided a solution which had HRM, which had integrated CRM with their e-commerce to ensure that the entire workforce is tracked. Cost to the customer, 18,000 per month. A company in Oman, basically into telecom equipment services, providing EPPX across Oman. I would say it has got around 80 to 85 percent of the Oman market with itself. Major issue was customer service and support. They never had a record which customer has come, what are the services that I have done on that customer, in which location, where is my inventory, where is my service person spending time, has he closed a ticket or not. Take 10 CRM support module enabled them to ensure that they have all these things right. Today they are able to track when a customer calls, check, oh, is the customer under AMC or not? If it's not under AMC, can I send an email, get a confirmation that he's ready to pay, schedule a visit, ensure that the technician has filled in the checklist online, we have service records of customer, which part was replaced, when, and where the current situation is pending. What if customer is paying for 30 plus service personnel, is nothing but 10,000 rupees a month. OKS International, a company into medical transcription and leading uh, uh, legal uh, document publishing across the globe. It is headquartered in Philadelphia, US, has offices in India, Singapore. Problem in legal publishing was when a document comes, they have to ensure various teams working from various locations are working in stages, one after the another document, and ensure the document is going through a particular flow. Take 10 document management system, enable them to have 50 plus users across the globe collaborating on the same document, 
and ensuring they are having steady reviews and looking at checkpoints. What is the company paying to us? 8,000 rupees per month. Sales management for power controls. A company which is into UPS and battery manufacturing in Tamil Nadu. Focusing on the entire Tamil Nadu only. It wanted a system which will enable them to track their sales people, to track their distribution, how much the each distributor is doing the sales, and also ensure the latest information, technical specifications are available with their customer facing and service teams. Take 10 CRM and take 10 document management system of the share. How much is this paying us? Hardly 5,000 rupees a month. So, what does this all come to? It has broken the myth that you need to spend a lot of money to have a world class IT system with you. You need to just look at the right provider which is meeting your needs and providing you a subscription. You can scale up, scale down as you want. A few snapshots are offering. Uh, these are uh, document management system and e-commerce food. E-commerce food, how you define your uh, stock in that when you're selling online. Managing your uh, lead engine. Managing your sales, looking at graphs, which leads a salesperson is working upon, what are the open cases a salesperson needs to try. Workflows for your document management system. Thank you.